All right, Cisco ASA to Firepower Threat Defense 6.3. This is the latest migration tool. So I'm gonna quickly log in. You download this obviously from um, Cisco. You can see it's local host, the port in the browser there. I'm gonna do a manual upload. So you can uh, export the config in CFG or TXT. Um, once you do that, you can do a manual upload. You can also connect to the ASA and pull the config that way. So I've uploaded the file, it's now parsing it. Um, we'll go through that and now it breaks out what we're gonna be migrating, right? Or the potential to migrate. So access control list, network objects, port objects, etc. The next step in this is what we'll do is we'll connect to Firepower Management Center. So we'll obviously enter the IP here and then you'll enter the username and password. Once you connect, it's gonna look for available devices, right? So once we've satisfied the connection side, it's going to parse or pull all of the firepower threat defense platforms that are available. Now, I only have one device available and all it has is a management IP and it was added to firepower management center. There's no other pre-configuration whatsoever. So if uh, gathering a little bit more detail here and then we'll select the device again, I only have one and we'll select that one. And features here, we're gonna do everything, so there's nothing here to uncheck. It's saying migrate only referenced objects, so if objects aren't referenced, then there's no reason to necessarily migrate those, right? Um, you could uncheck that if you wanted to. So here it's mapping firepower threat defense interfaces. So it's taking what we are pulled from ASA and we're gonna align them to firepower threat defense. Now this is pretty simple, the interfaces match. Now we're looking at uh, security zones and interface groups. So you can see here that we have, you know, the logical interface for ASA, FTD. We can hit auto create and auto create will automatically create the zones for security and the interface groups. And that's what we did here. And you can select either zones or interface groups or both. And I, I, I didn't show that piece, but that was an, an option there. Here you can see a kind of a breakdown, right? Multiple pages of access control, network objects, right? You can see five pages here that are available and you can go through and review these, right? Interfaces, right? There's the IPs that'll be moved over. The state will be enabled. And then you've got the routes. So then you can come in and validate that. And if everything's good, then you have the ability to push that configuration. So we're gonna do that. And at the end, you could download or view the report. I'm not gonna show you that, but you can certainly do that. What I'm gonna do though, is jump into Firepower Management Center and we're gonna look at some of the available objects that might be, uh, or that have been created, or the uh, port groups, or the access control lists or the routes, right? I, I wanna go through and show you what it actually looks like once the migration is complete. So here it's going through the migration status, right? So it's, you know, it's done the interfaces, it's moving to network objects, port objects, routes, then it'll go into access control policies, and then finally policy assignment. Again, you'll see that the download report button will become available once complete. And you can certainly reference that, especially if there's some type of uh, issue, right? The migration wasn't successful for whatever reason. All right, so here's a breakdown, right? And we'll jump into Firepower Management Center. And the migration piece is fairly quick up front. The, the only part that takes a little bit of time that I've kind of skipped over was pushing the config to Firepower Management Center. Um, outside of that, it's fairly quick. All right, so we're gonna jump into objects. Let's just quickly view to make sure, is it still default, right? Because remember this, even on the Firepower side, I didn't mention this, but that's, it's actually a clean install as well. 
So you can see there's certainly some different groups here. You can see the o OBJ dash and then an IP address. So those were things that were definitely migrated over. You can see here ports that are available, right, in the port groups. When we look at interfaces, we can see that we do have a couple created here, inside, outside, and WAN, and we can see that they have been assigned to the specific device and interface itself. So if we go to devices, we should be able to have a look at um, firepower threat defense, the appliance we pushed to. We can see here's some IP addressing. If we go in, and this gives us an opportunity too, if we wanted to tweak something, we can certainly do that. But you can see it's already enabled. It's got the IPv4 uh, address, the security zone's been applied. Um, likewise, we can jump into routing, uh, have a quick visual of what we have from a routing perspective. Again, if we want to make some changes here, this is a good time to make those changes, right? And you can see here's the interface, the objects that were assigned during the migration. Now, we haven't pushed this policy to the device itself, right? Or, or objects or anything, right? So we can see that we've got an access control list. It, it, it is assigned, but it hasn't been pushed. And again, now, we're, now that we're in access control policy, we can actually now come in and make some additional tweaks. So we could, you know, we might want to consider turning on logging, for example, or we might want to uh, change a port rule, right? Port based rule to a application layer rule. And, and maybe I'll do that here. So we'll go to ports, we'll delete the ICMP for destination and we'll go back to applications and we'll type in ICMP and we'll add it. And so now we've, we've migrated that rule, right? In the sense of from a you know traditional L3, L4 type rule into an L7 type rule, right? Um, here we're gonna add some additional advanced inspection like IPS. Right, so you can go through here and add, you know, malware policies, URL filtering, whatever it is that you want. You want to save it. We're going to push the config now. Right, this is now actually going to actually save the the the, the configuration on the device itself. We're actually pushing the config. Inspect interruption to let you know, but remember this is a fairly clean device anyway, but it's pretty easy, right? We're talking eight minutes to take a ASA config, get it converted, migrated into firepower threat defense. Pretty cool.